the art director placed <laughs> one of them so nobody yeah. can see it but him. <laughs> it's nicer. Well, I thought that's just a bit away because in every angle we get. <laughs> somebody gets what a angle of is coming from the airline? Okay, April will take care of the Facebook stuff. Okay, guys, let's do it. Okay. Happy Hour again from Uptown New Orleans. Hello, I'm Grant Morris. Happy Hour is part of the family of shows on the podcast network. It's NewOrleans.com. When you walk into a bar in New Orleans and you pull up a bar stool, you never know who's going to be sitting on either side of you. And what you do know is no matter what they look like, what they're wearing, whether they just got out of a limousine or just got out of jail, they're going to be happy to talk to you because that's New Orleans. And this is Happy Hour, a cocktail-fueled 60 minutes of random conversation with folks who have nothing in common. Other than we're all New Orleanians in a bar. Today we're at the fabulous Wayfair on Ferret Street where they have a, well, how long is it? Three hour happy hour. You see, we're on the other side of the bar today, so I can't see this board up here. Uh, yes, Adam, three hours. can you tell me what it says? It says three to six every day. Half price all drinks and half price starters and bar fare. Okay, all right. And that was, uh, of course, the voice of Adam Gertner, who's <laughs> half of the duo, Roar, which I've been very nervous about saying. Because of my accent. How do you pronounce it? That was Roar. perfect. That was perfect. Roar. Yeah. Not Excellent. Roar. No. R O A R. R O A R. Okay. R O A R. So that's Adam Gertner and Carly Myers is the other half. Hi, Carly. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Thanks good. for being here, you two. Thanks for having us. Do you think anybody listening knows who the hell you are? I don't know. Maybe. Everyone <laughs> how long, knows who we are. How long have you been around? Uh, Roar's only been two years, actually. Yeah, two said, years? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's a long time. Yeah. I thought it was less than that. Uh, I thought it was like two minutes for some reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels you know, like that. Does it, does it feel like it two minutes? It feels like that, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And you guys have known each other for a long time, though. <laughs> yes. Since high school. Mm-hmm. Since high school. Mm-hmm. Are you a couple as well? We, we are. are. <laughs> uh-huh. Are you married? Uh, common law, but that doesn't exist here. Eight Is years. Is that right? Yeah. So you've been together eight years. Yes. Yeah. Um, David Capasso is an attorney. Hey. Oh, hey. hello. Yeah. He can tell you what that means. What you could have children. You could do yeah. that. Yeah, That's we could. Anybody can have yeah. children. I'm we have one. It's them. called Roar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you get... Well, nothing. If you split up, are you? Are they able to sue each other for uh, community property? You can sue property? anybody for anything, for any time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can just file That's any sweet. paperwork. Yeah. 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 What about community property after being a common law husband and wife? We didn't mix our records, so yeah. we'll be okay. Do you own anything? <laughs> Only re- albums. Yeah. Do you make enough money to buy a house or no. a car? <laughs> no. Not yet. We have a nice artist loft downtown. Oh, you do? That uh-huh. you own together? Uh, maybe not own. Rent but together. Rent. together. Rent together. Yes. Okay. That's mm-hmm. nice. So who's going to get fantastic. the house after the divorce? <laughs> oh, there won't be a divorce. <laughs> Everything's working out. Everything's You've been together out. for eight years. Yeah. We sewed our bodies together. Ah, you can't see it. It's invisible. Sweet. <laughs> okay. David, are you ma- you, you're married too. I am. Yeah. How yeah. long have you kids. been married? Uh, I've actually been married 16 years, but I've known my oh, wife wow. for 30 years. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, what kind of what a, happened for the other 14 years? Well, we uh, dated. She said I needed some therapy. We broke up. <laughs> I actually got back together uh, in 2000, and uh, we stuck together. Had That's two awesome. boys. How long nice. were you apart for? Uh, b- apart for, um, let's see, 87, two, that's 13 years, yeah. You were together for how many first? We were together for a year and a half. 1.5. Yeah, 1.5. <laughs> and then we and drifted then you apart. were together for 13, you were off yeah. for 13. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I-, I emailed her and said, maybe I wanted to see your children grow up, and maybe I'll have your children. I think I said that. No, you have to have your children. That's a sort of an anatomical misunderstanding. <laughs> totally. <laughs> But uh, it's been a blessing. Yeah. It this is been. Jax Fry, who's here as well. J A X. So everyone's got a bizarre spelling of their name, except David Capasso is normal. Jax is J A X. Is J-A-X. that your real name? No. No, no, no. <laughs> what is your real name? Judith. Judith. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Jax is just a nickname. Jax is cooler. Okay. Jax yeah. I think Jax is cooler. Yeah. It has an X. J A X. Yeah. How many names have X in them, right? Jax Fry. Good point. You named after the. And in fact, my old common law gave me the name. Really? <laughs> a long time ago, yeah. <laughs> Kept it since. What happened to him? 
Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, this is where, <laughs> this is where <laughs> Bryson Jernigan comes in. <laughs> yeah. We can find him right now. What's find him. Uh, What's he's, out, he's out in California. Oh, don't worry about that. What's his name? His name is Dan Bergeron. Hi, Dan. Dan. Bergeron. <laughs> he's not. There are not many Bergerons in California. I know. Right? I know. Oh, That's how I ended Grayson, up. Uh, <laughs> you've got 45 seconds to find Dan Bergeron. Oh, how do you spell oh, Bergeron? Oh, Christ fucking sake. That's pathetic. What? I don't know how to spell it. B-E-R-G-E-R-O-N. Bergeron. Bergeron. Yeah. Dan Bergeron. Okay. And what did he do? He was in customer service when I knew him. Mm, that's and interesting. He, what sort of product was he servicing customers? In, in uh, cell phones. Cell phones? Yeah. And he got the whole customer service department calling me Jack's beer for a while. And then they kind of, <laughs> they kind of, because he was from New Orleans and I was from New Orleans back there. And so that's how that kind of. He, uh, he, he called me Etouffee for a while, too. <laughs> <laughs> this but, is in California? <laughs> this is in California for a little while. What were you doing out there? Oh, just messing painting? around. Yeah, were you just, painting? Uh, no. No, I wasn't back so then. So this has only started recently, this painting career. Yeah, I just started painting about oh, nine years ago. Okay, so listen to this. I got this. This is verbatim. This is fact here I have. <laughs> Jack's Fry, F-R-E-Y, is a world record holder. Okay. Are you, wa- are you waiting? Are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm ready. Drum roll. She's a, she's a visual artist. She painted these little things here that you're looking at on the table oh, in front of you. Them. And if you listen to this online, you can go to our website, itsneworleans.com, and take a look at a photo awesome. of these little things. They're paintings. When I say things, they're actually paintings. Mm-hmm. And she's painted more. Is it acrylic on canvas? The, the most um, acrylic paintings on canvas by one artist. In the entire oh, world. Wow. She's yeah. the world record holder for painting the most... 20,000. 20,000. 20, oh, my God. Yeah. There it is. Thank you. That's wow. number, number 20,000. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's the number, number 20,000. 20, that's right. So this has got to be a valuable piece of artwork here, number 20,000. I'll say so, yes. What, yeah. do you think, <laughs> what do you think it's worth? If it's worth the same as this, then it's forty dollars. Other 40 than that, I have no idea what to tell you there. <laughs> I think we should. Somebody here should buy this right now, don't you think? Oh, that one's not for yeah. sale. It's not for sale. That one can't be. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> oh, it's no, worth no. a lot more than forty. Maybe bucks. so. Going up all Maybe the time. Price, yeah. price. Price. It's priceless. Yeah. Price. It's number twenty thousand. <laughs> so, well, the, wow. of course, there's got to be an obvious question now, right? Come on, I can't be twenty thousand leagues under the sea. I'm not getting it. Well, that's it. a good what? one too. <laughs> What happened after the day you did this? That was my question. I kept painting. So, so it's 20,000 20, and, and counting. Where's 20,001? That's the one I'd like to buy. Oh, that one's already sold. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, so how long does it take you to paint one of these little things? About five days. Wow. Yeah, so, But I do a bunch of them at one time. Okay, that because, was going to be, you're not yeah. doing, otherwise I was going to have to get Grayson to multiply 20,000 by 5. <laughs> well, so there's, wait, there's a lot to it. More than there's a lot to it. That means Art, Art every Jacks.com. next painting is a world record holder. So every one okay. you make right. after that is the new world. It's even world. more valuable. Okay. Yeah, but they I went go through a lot to get that world Grayson. record. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's right. It's he's true. He's right. Every single yeah. painting you do now. It's true. Because I believe the only other person who is as prolific as you is Pablo Picasso, right? Wow. It uh, that's debatable. Yeah. I okay. have an argument with that. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's what um, I read. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> he's actually painted thirteen thousand five hundred original paintings. Okay, and he's dead, by the way. And right? he's so dead. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so he's, he's out. I could so I could look up that. Do it. Oh yeah. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> Grayson will find out. So is he dead? Yeah. He is. is he dead? He is. He's definitely <laughs> dead. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> So he painted 13,000 and you painted 20,000, which is 7,000 more, obviously, which is another, what, 33% or something. Oh, that was good. M- more than, <laughs> Grayson will tell me if that's right, more than Pablo Picasso. So who else is in the running there? No one I know. No one I can ever find. You're worth more alive than dead. I mean, I would be you're more alive than dead. Well, I like the okay. sound of that. <laughs> so, so how do you verify this? Well, you just put it out there for one thing. I mean, I did a lot of research looking, and I didn't find anything. So then I applied for the the record. But who to? Guinness, the World Guinness Record Guinness Academy. Record. No, not Guinness. Guinness is still sticking with Picasso. They won't oh. even talk to really? me. Really? Yeah. Guinness oh, is fake they, news. Oh. Guinness this is, is fake news. debatable now. That's yeah. what she means by debatable. Yeah. So, I, I okay. so I've got a little argument with them going. But with the Guinness um, Book of Records. With the Guinness Book of World Records, yeah. So then I went to their uh, competitor, the World Record Academy, and, you know, checked them out and felt good about them. So then I uh, had to jump through all kind of hoops to get it. You know, I had to hire an accountant. How many hoops? And, 
a bunch. I had to make videos. How many is a bunch? Wow. Is that a world record number of hoop jumping? Um, <laughs> I'll say seven. Seven hoops. <laughs> seven hoops. Could that be a world record? <laughs> Probably not. Okay. So... The Guinness Book of World Records says that Pablo Picasso, and why do they deny you the record? Well, it's funny because I came back and I told them, um, okay, so Pablo, you know, this is not a quality issue. This is definitely well, just that's quantity. What my you question know? is he an artist and you're not? Uh, oh, no, 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 no nothing like that. <laughs> well, no, what could there that's not what? it. Because this is what they say. Okay, so he did 13,500 originals, he did 100,000 prints, he did 3,000 something sculptures. Wow. And my argument to them is that he should not be the most prolific painter. He should be the most prolific artist. They've got him as the painter. Oh. And so I said, and this is why the only original paintings on there are the 13,500. So they wrote Which me is back. nothing, right? Well. <laughs> I do that in my sleep. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. No big deal. They wrote me back and they said, well, no, you have to include all this other stuff. And like I said, what? but that's my argument. You know, you can't count the prints. You can't count the sculptures. Right. And, and you can't talk to these people. They're, you know, on some level up there where you can't call them and you can't email them. And so now that I went yeah, to their sure competitor, I'm going to go back and okay. say, okay, Guinness, okay. people disagree with you. And, you know? yeah. and is this worth anything financially to you to be the world record holder? I mean, Well, I hope it's good it? for business, but, you know, other than that, I, I'm doing as many paintings as I can keep up with now. It's <laughs> because you think that the more stuff you put out there, the more it would dilute the brand. Possibly, possibly. Not, I, I mean, hope not, but who I mean, could resist Pica a world record? I mean, I've right? heard yeah, of Pablo seriously. Picasso, and he has 13,500. That's, exactly, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Oh, my gosh, yeah. So that can't yeah. be true, But right? not counting. No. So, yeah, so <laughs> yeah. it can't hurt your career to have them. Probably not. No. Probably no. not, yeah. And, you, and how early many, days. How many, how many records does Roar have out? We have one record one. and one mm. EP, one half record. One and one point. <laughs> one and something. a half. One, one and a half. Point one and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Who has the mo world record for the most records? About? I don't know. I don't Maybe think Miles I'd want Davis. To. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'd want to listen to the artists who had yeah, the most yeah. records. Yeah. Maybe the Grateful Dead. Yeah, yeah. Because people record those and just put oh, them out. Oh, the live. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds yeah. of records. Yeah, that's true. I mean, at that a certain was. point, you just put them out. It means they're not really putting much thought into any of it anymore. Yeah, right. You just got to put the record out. So you guys are a band, just the two of you. Yeah. Just the two of us, yeah. And, and, We've been in lots and of bands. And Adam, you're a drummer. I am a drummer. And, and, Carly, and Carly, you play the trombone. I play trombone and so sing. So other than oh. being like in love with each other, how did you come up with the oh, idea wow. of being in a band with a drummer and a trombone? <laughs> <laughs> it was a long process. Yes, many yeah. other bands and yeah. uh, not really having the most fun working with other people uh -huh. and figuring out that being a duo is just a good idea and then technology nowadays has let us catch up to that. We can use the computer to fill in other sounds. So uh, that's what you do? Yeah. yeah. So you're playing everything on this? Yeah. We are, uh -huh. yeah. He's covering yeah. the backing tracks that we program ourselves. It's our own sound. It's not like pre-bought stuff. And then while playing drums, and then I sing and play trombone and bass pedals. So. Bass pedals, what do they do? Play the bass? Yes. Yeah. So you're playing mm -hmm. those bass pedals while you're singing and we playing them? Yes. We go back and forth who covers the bass. Yeah. Well, and you know the uh, yeah. most it? famous <laughs> person fun, with yeah. those bass pedals is Gibby Haynes. So... People know them. <laughs> that's that's where he, that's who popularized the bass pedal. Name yes, uh, you can check it up on uh, Wikipedia. <laughs> we haven't. Have we found Don Bergeron yet? I'm so I can't. I hope find not. <laughs> can't, find, can't spell Bergeron. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> These kids, the kids today with their education. Yeah. So what are you bass pedals now? <laughs> yeah, Moog Taurus. Moog Taurus. Moog Taurus, yeah. Well, you say I've watched people play bass while they sing before, like Sting, for example. Yeah, or totally. Or Paul McCartney. Oh, I've heard of those guys. It's incredibly <laughs> difficult to sing and play bass at the same time. I think it, I don't know, with your I can't play guitar, but I feel like it would be harder to do guitar or to do drums while playing. Yeah. It, but, but you're I don't know. singing. Singing. Playing it's pretty simple bass And at the same time, parts. you're playing the bass. bass parts with your feet. Yes. Yeah. Standing up. Yeah. In high heels half the time. <laughs> that does sound extraordinarily Sweaty. difficult. <laughs> it's really fun. You really hate people that much that you couldn't hire a bass player. <laughs> no, I think it's more that we were on the same wavelength aesthetically and musically, conceptually. And yeah. ever since high school, we kind of gelled. And um, yeah, it just well, naturally, organically came to, to being two music. people. Okay. 
And what high school were you at? Uh, Denver School of the Arts. Denver School of the Arts. Yes. So you both came here from Denver. Yes. We did, yeah. Colorado. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right Same on. Denver, right? Yeah. yeah. A free state in terms of marijuana. Yes. Exactly. Uh -huh. It oh, is a different point. place now than so it, it was is. when we grew up David, there. you're yeah. involved. Do you take her criticism and you, do you criticize him <laughs> when you don't like the sound? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, we yeah, do. We were yeah. honest with each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So, David, among the many interesting things I know about you, it says that you're a, you're a founder of the Green Tea Party, which is involved in marijuana legalization. Well, I mean, uh, it was a great uh, idea one day. It just seemed that uh, with the whole Tea Party attitude, um, I just didn't like their politics. It was like a little too um, um, out there and a kind of a hater divider thing. But the Green Tea Party seemed like a, an attitude. You got green tea, which people like. It's kind of mellow. Yeah. You got uh, activism. You got a political mm -hmm. party situation. And then I came up with a great slogan that said, instead of Pharaoh and the Egyptians saying, let my people go, how about farmers, let my people grow? How about that? <laughs> Sounds like that. So people started catching on. But then people started get, hating the Tea Party so much, they said, no, I don't, I don't like anything to do with Tea Party. No. So I kind of faded away. But now, we have now 10 states that are legal. California, yeah. wow. Oregon, Washington. I mean, I mean it's, yeah. it's there. That's so amazing. I see the snake that was the uh, same image of Ben Franklin, Don't Tread on Me, where all the states were part of a mm -hmm. the snake. I see all the states that are legal, and uh, things are happening. I mean, you know, you get activists from each place, and we live in a slave state. We live in a state where yeah. people can still get arrested, go to jail. Bernard no uh, Bernard Bernie Nobles, as our man here, will definitely look up. He's in jail for 14 years wow. for three joints. You know, under guard. You know it's, it's funny, but it's not funny. What do you do with yeah. these three joints? You just possess them? He was possessing them, that's right. And he Are had three kidding? prior convictions. So we had the multiple bill issue in Louisiana. So he was charged with the multiple bill. They asked if he wanted to plead guilty and just go to jail for six, seven years. He said, no, I don't want to do that. So the judge actually wanted to help him. But when they did find him guilty, they multiple bill. The district attorney used the multiple bill, and now he's uh, in jail. Can you just explain what multiple bill? That's like it the means three that you can be double. You can just be wild on your sentence based on your single or second or third offense. So if you have a prior conviction, instead of your sentence being zero to five, it's then five to ten or ten to twenty, whatever. Yeah. It's so like this is like strikes, when you, yeah. yes, but it's like mm -hmm. when you're driving down the highway and it says fines doubled and. Oh yeah, it's definitely <laughs> jacked up there, no doubt about it. Uh, that's that's the law in Louisiana. Well, it's the, the law actually in the United States. I mean, actually in law. California, um, they had a guy who delivered pizza and uh, he, you no, know, somebody stole a pizza from another guy and. It was his third conviction, and they got him oh a life sentence for that, for stealing pizza. Now they kind of well, changed that's... the Supreme Court. It's a little cruel, unusual, stealing pizza, having a life sentence. But the, the, the three strikes you're out still is there. And unfortunately, as we were talking before, that it's not liberal or conservative because, as you know, Bill Clinton supported the uh, three strikes you're out law. And on the, re the Republican side, they support law and order. But when the jails are full of people that are nonviolent offenders, mm -hmm. how good is that? I mean, how yeah. was this waste of time? So... I think it's actually double jeopardy to blame somebody twice or three times for the same crime, but that's a big issue with, with our district attorney, wow. that the way he uses the multiple bill to kind of play on people. But, hmm. but then I know I'm adding a bummer to this radio station, but it's interesting. It's interesting because we've all got pot on us right now, I'm sure, uh, right? So, <laughs> Well, I mean, um, um, the well, word pot is does. amazing, <laughs> amazing <laughs> that we still use that term. But. Well, what should we call it, seeing we're legalizing it? Marijuana? Well, um, um, you can call it whatever you want. Now, hemp, oh, as you common. know, hemp is actually the industrial uh, plant that is used for cotton and for right. so many products. Right. And that's starting to come back around and... And what's the difference between hemp and marijuana? The marijuana is the female plant. It's all mixed up. But it, 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 something's happening where people are saying, wait a minute. You know, maybe we can do something better than just locking people up for this. But yeah. well, I the biggest, the biggest is problem is the, is the drunk driving. I mean, that's the biggest. The sheriff's office, the DA say there's going to be more drunk driving if you legalize it. But we haven't seen that in Denver. We haven't seen the facts on that. So. Right. No. <laughs> what are the facts? Are there more car accidents in I states think that where people, people will, are hot? will drink less. They will also get a Uber or get a Lyft or get somebody to give them a ride. And again, necessity is the mother of invention. I see a marijuana cool cab company saying, we'll give you a ride if you're stoned and we'll get you a, a, a great ride idea. or something That's a like great that. Idea. Well, if it's legal. In Australia, it's yeah. actually uh, um, now legal to grow food. I mean, it's a food products, but it's still mm. not there. It's legal to grow weed as a food it's product. Good to, it's good to eat food products and it's getting decriminalized. I mean the 
the edibles. Yeah. Well, this right. is the main problem they've had in Colorado, as far as I understand, if there is a problem, yeah. is that you can't smoke the stuff anywhere. So people are now eating pot, which is super strong compared <laughs> exactly. to exactly having a hit or two of weed. Now you, you know what? Yeah, it's they're like. eating whole candy <laughs> you know? bars. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're at the hospital. You're at the, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. You're at the baseball game. You're completely exactly. fucked up, and you're way up the top. <laughs> that must be pretty bad. That would be so awful. Have you guys been back since the legalization? We yeah, have many yeah. times actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And what's the deal? You like when you get to the airport here, you go get a drink. Do you go get weed at the airport? You can't get it at the airport yet. No. 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 What's mm-hmm. the deal? Have you you been? Yeah. There, well, actually, I have a friend that lives outside of Denver. I think it's a uh, Broomfield. He's about sixty-six years old. He's an activist. It's a funny story, but it's not funny. Is that I said, dude, you're finally after thirty years. You were at Kent State. You're an activist. He says, man, I can't afford it in the stores. I could buy it from the guy down the street. So I really can't afford the taxes. Yeah. Oh, so there's like, still oh, a black market. On. Yeah. Well, how much hmm. is What do we call it a black market? It's a green market, but I mean, yeah. Right. right. Okay. Well, is how there much? a section of town in Denver that you go to? Everywhere. Okay. Yeah. I wondered about yeah, it's that. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. And it's not just Denver. It's all of Colorado. Yeah, okay. right, right, right. Yeah. It's yeah. everywhere. And yeah. Oregon, and Washington, yeah. and well, Arizona. Yeah. And now Nevada. Nevada. And there's even right. resorts yeah. that are, like, weed-friendly. You can take a bus up to Aspen and smoke all the yeah, way. Yeah, supposedly now there the is bus? a bus service yeah. that will pick you up from the airport. <laughs> with marijuana uh-huh. and drive you to Aspen. Yeah. Hey, there's oh, a bus tour that will take you to every beer distillery in this town. Maybe you pay money for <laughs> oh, that. Oh, that's awesome. It's yeah. like, who would have thought that beer distilleries would be the big thing now? It's like right. you can't yeah. think about starting one because there's just so many. There's yeah, so yeah. Many. And Abita goes, so oh, true. we got 10 minutes before the tour. Drink as much as you want, <laughs> and then we'll go on the tour. <laughs> okay. So... Can you bring weed back with you when you come here? As part no, of the- no, never. You can't do That's that. a tough thing. No, tough it's thing. illegal. You know, yeah. uh, <laughs> they had a big article where uh, movie stars like um, the uh, uh, who's the woman who's gay and she's the coolest uh, singer and she, Melissa Etheridge. Melissa Etheridge. She uh, yeah. she said I have to hide it certain places because on a plane it's still a tacky thing. But you think mm. a, a star like that would, would? And she has a medical marijuana card, but. Yeah, but it doesn't yeah, mean anything okay. once you get out of California, right? But but I would love to have the first, like, Rosa Parks case where you have a person hmm. from Colorado comes down here with a medical marijuana card okay. and says, yeah. I'm going to smoke it, and what are you going to do about it? And that could create a constitutional crisis because you're supposed to allow that person from Colorado right. to do whatever they want in another state. Mm-hmm. Like a gay marriage should be honored in this state. Yeah. So if people yeah. don't want to get arrested, it's kind of a bum. They don't want to lose their career. They don't want to lose their job. Absolutely. So we haven't found the Rosa Parks yet. Are you yeah. looking for a volunteer for that? Maybe well, your grandma. You know, yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> we're under we're the... For veteran. Yeah. A, anybody yeah. out there, we're looking for a veteran that has cancer or recovering. Yes. Yeah. Has a yeah. card. Yeah. Okay. From yeah. the Washington yeah. State right. of Seattle. Yeah, but still Help be a good PTSD. person, please. What's up? <laughs> Yeah. So what's uh, up? Uh, uh, what's yeah, up with grandma? Record. I don't want yeah. you to be like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, three strikes, man. You're out. Yeah. Uh-huh. So what's yeah. up with grandma? She likes to smoke pot. Uh, no, I had a grandma. She uh, did just pass away oh. a week ago, oh. but uh, oh, no. she uh, oh. she was in Amen. unbearable pain, and uh, my parents thought we should try marijuana, Absolutely. and it helped for the last three or so months that she was doing wow. it. Yeah, but I believe uh, that is maybe the reason it is not legal because it will put all the Medicinal pharmaceutical uh, companies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Know, we got business. people dying of opiates, and they won't oh, try it out you. on people with Alzheimer's. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Like yeah, because the it'll put them all so out of huge. business. Yeah. Do you How really angry. think? Oh. Yeah. Do you really think weed is going to put like Pfizer and yeah, Bristol well, exactly. yeah. 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 profits? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's eight times cheaper. Well, wait, wait a minute. I love you've heard just recently that the companies. It's like the tobacco lawsuit. The companies have been shown that they are overprescribing people. And they uh, they put the uh, expiration oh, date wow. on it shorter, even though you could probably use the pills later. But they want you to buy more pills. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's what they say about yogurt as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's an expiration date on everything. That's right on. probably uh, bullshit. Uh, you know, we got to loosen these regulations. We got to talk to Donald. Trump. Yeah, come on, though. man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too tight, Donald. Yeah, he, you yeah. just got to show him the paycheck, and speaking and of, then uh, he'll uh, do Donald, it. Donald, not yeah. to get into politics, but Donald says he's got the record for the most bills that have been passed, and he signed, even though the bills are like how many toilets are in the the, the post office. <laughs> he signed the most bills. He says, <laughs> "Hey, so I think yeah. she's up on that." Yeah. Yeah. Is there don't a, don't is compare there. me to the toilet record. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's stay away from that. Well, you got a real record, not like his fake record. <laughs> Do all these have a green background, all these paintings, or just these four we have in front of us? 90, all you? Well, this one doesn't. But, uh, is that a Fleur de Lee on the top? Like, yeah, all the, all so the Fleur de Lee. Always a Fleur de Lee. Okay, so how much weed are you smoking to get through these? <laughs> <laughs> green it takes about three hours at a time just sitting. <laughs> 
so it and I, sit I, do you and, smoke yeah. pot while you're doing this? Or uh, no, I you don't. I don't like to see what that would look like. Are you kidding? <laughs> you've done 20,000 paintings and you've never, never smoked any weed. Not while I've done That's this, no. so hard to believe. No. And you're under oath. Not once. <laughs> <laughs> really? Not what, once what, what do you do? You just concentrate? Yeah. I, I kind of enjoy it. I want to relax. She loves life. Is that possible, David? Can you uh, do that? How much weed do you smoke a day? So? Um, I you're a lawyer, I'm in actually, the eating. by the way. I'm in the eating, and, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm coming out of the closet on this show. Thank you, Graham Laplanche. I love that. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I actually i uh, am ready to show a lot of people that there are things that I do that are completely legal, but they are not legal. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like... You, uh, you, are, the, you are a lawyer, right? I am so a lawyer. So something I, I believe is either legal or not <laughs> legal, so you can't be legal and... Well, if, if, I, if I am in the privacy of my own home, I yeah. do whatever I want. Supreme Court says that I can have sex in the ass with anybody I want, and that's totally legal. As long as I they, can, they have, to, join well, they have to agree to that. Though, no, right. Supreme Court said that. Famous no, but I mean the Texas. person who's asked yeah. you have oh, yeah, sex has to be consensual. in has, it has to, to be consensual. Right. So okay, if, so if, I can, if I can have anal sex in my house. Yeah, in Texas, right. But if I can have so any sex can, in my own house. You can, yes. and I, I, But I can't smoke a joint. There's some constitutional crisis going on there, I think. That's what I think. Yeah. Why, why Maybe if I'm waiting? smoking a joint and having anal sex at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Why are you comparing anal sex? Because it's <laughs> so a long. Supreme Court case. That was a test case. Are you See, saying, that, cases, are you saying that anal toilet? sex is like so the weird? The ACLU <laughs> put a case together of two gay men and wanted them to tell the police that they're having anal sex in that house, the police came in the house, arrested them, and when they went to Supreme Court, unanimously the Supreme Court said they can do whatever they want in their own home and you didn't have probable cause to go in their house. That's, a, that's the case. That's well, hang on, but case. wasn't there a federal law at some point that said anal sex was illegal? No, no federal law. It never law. was. No, nope, it never law. was. That's a good so question. So why did people so get arrested for having anal sex? Because and in state laws, bestiality oh, okay. and crime against nature, it's still a law against the law to have a blowjob in Louisiana, but you you can't have intercourse in public, and it's not a felony. But if you have a blowjob, when you say in public, in public here, if you have if you have oh, a blowjob in here, it is considered <laughs> still a felony. Really? But if you have intercourse in here, it would be a misdemeanor because it's not a crime against nature. Nature wants you to have intercourse <laughs> and not a blowjob. See, it's against nature. Wow. And actually, you would. What you the hell is this about it? <laughs> As of five years ago, you could have been a sex offender for having a, a blowjob or any kind of. Uh, unnatural sex, hmm. and 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 I've, I've I've had clients that are, are sex offenders because it's horrible. But yeah. I'm not I'm not following ones. this entirely. You guys, keep so me up. <laughs> you can you trying. can get a blowjob now. You and cannot have a blowjob in public without being arrested for crime against nature. So that's a Wait, serious can I, crime. Can I ask a question? Yeah. yeah. Yes, Grace. What does this have to do with weed? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting to that. No, right? weed makes yeah. sex feel better. But the analogy is that with all these horrible laws out there and, and the fact that you're legalizing, and I don't want to say anything about the abortion issue, but I can advise uh -huh. my, I can get, I can get God, advice from my abortion. doctor that I can terminate my pregnancy, mm -hmm. but I can't smoke a joint in my house. Yeah. But, but, and, and, I don't, and I actually think that Planned Parenthood is the greatest thing in the world because of all the things they've done over the years, but, but there are states mm -hmm. that still ban people from advising with their doctor or talking about pregnancy. And if you want to have an abortion after six months, there's some states that you could go to jail, but you still can't smoke a joint. Yeah, but this is yeah. what society is, isn't it? It's we decide on these various Thank rules, you. and for some reason, whoa, 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 whoa. for some reason, we've decided that pot is naughty. And that's based on that's based on 1935. I'm I'm pretty sure it had wow. to do with racism, reefer madness, and it had to do with the fact that yeah. alcohol became legal, and it was easier to definitely make this demonized and illegal. And, and but would you be say, would you say it. the same thing about cocaine? Would you want cocaine to be now, legalized? That's a good question. Or Is that heroin? coca leaves? Coca leaves, which half of the uh, half of South America uses every day, the way you, we use co coffee. But because of the whole issue of the trade and narcotics and guns, the Pope even drank coca tea when he was on the plane flying from uh, Colombia. So <laughs> we we're demonizing these drugs in a way that, since the war on drugs, we've got to do something about it. But but I'm not advocating um, people just being uh, using cocaine, but let farmers grow whatever they want. And let's finally let farmers decide what's better for them. And they are trying to reduce the amount of cocaine and coca by having other crops, but, but let's, not, people, let's not demonize marijuana by bringing in other drugs. But there's I mean, people who love cocaine. There's, there's people, people who, who love, love heroin. heroin. And tobacco right. and caffeine. So and, and why can't, what, so what is the big deal about you happen to like pot. I think you should you get have a prescription. To think pot I think you should get a prescription for cocaine. If you need it that badly, ah, have a doctor to, uh, to you know, if you want. Well, that's, 
No. Everything should be regulated. I'm for this regulation. What, I want marijuana to be regulated the, This is too. what the anti-pot people are scared of, though, is that crazy people like you who are going to say, now that we've legalized pot, now I should get a prescription for cocaine as well. No, what and they're then scared I'm going to be able to marry my dog next time. <laughs> I can get a Thank prescription you. for hydrocodone 1025. I yeah. can go into a liquor store Opiates. and I can drink grain alcohol and go blind in 20 <laughs> minutes. But I can't smoke a joint in my own house. Yeah, wow. What they're scared of is that they don't know what it is. They all think marijuana is cocaine or it is heroin. Right. It's but drugs. it's very it's different. Drugs. But it's yeah. so easy to demonize anything. It you is. can exactly. demonize adult entertainment. And I represent a lot of adult entertainers. And in this city, it's very Hang natural. But in other cities, it's uh, just something when out of... When you say you represent adult entertainers... I represent adult entertainers. You're their attorney? Yes, I represent them in child support issues. I represent them in mm -hmm. traffic tickets. And they go wow. to work every day and they're and in the adult they, entertainment industry. What industry. are they doing? Yeah. They're having, this is porn actors or something? They are, they are either dancers or they're bartenders or they're um, guys on the street getting you to lure in or they're managers at a bar or the woman who uh, uh, owns several clubs no, in We have French a different quarters. definition of adult entertainment. I thought we were talking about <laughs> making, uh, making porno movies. Well, I mean, that's we part have? of the... I don't represent... Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I do. But, I mean, people who do that... Maybe you there's do. legal There's legal uh, things that you do that... Well, I didn't know we had a porn industry here. I represent sanitation workers. That's an ugly business. It's kind of smelly, too. But so how do you it, get it, these I don't clients? judge people from... Yeah. For, for people right, who right, right, right. Exactly. Okay. Now, we've got two things to do. One thing, first of all, we have to uh, say and uh, talk about a word from our sponsors, and then we have to listen to some music okay. from Raw. R O A. R -O -A we just have to. I can't wait. Just <laughs> have to. And that's not an acronym. There's no acronym there. It's just Raw. It's just Roar, Roar with yeah. an exclamation mark. But you don't need to look that up. If you want to look this up, it's just <laughs> RoarTheDuo.com. RoarTheDuo.com. Yeah. Well, that's a long name. Up, how'd you come up with the name? Uh, we're a duo, and <laughs> so Roar. There's two of you. And yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's how you did it. All right. Like I say, today's show is brought to us. Today's show is brought to us by Basics Swim and Gym. We can get a full range of fashion swimsuits. Swimsuits. It's funny when you can't. I can, can you hear yourself properly through these headphones? <laughs> In one ear. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. It's a full, a full range of fashion swimsuits, workout and yoga clothes with style. You can get a bikini, a one piece, cover ups, everything you need for the beach, and poolside is at Basics Swim and Gym. It's right next to Basics Lingerie Store. Basics underneath on Magazine Street near Jefferson Avenue. And also thank you to our friends at Hangover Destroyer. Do we have a box over on the table right here? Please help yourself Aww. to as many Hangover Destroyers as you'd like. It's the only all-natural product medically proven to prevent a hangover. If you go to the Hangover Destroyer website, it's hdestroyer.com, and you write the words happy hour and the coupon code, you'll get 30% off of your first order of Hangover Destroyer. So you too can free. seize the dawn. It's gluten-free. I think, you know, vegan. It's tested on uh, humans, not animals. If you want some, David, I don't yeah. know if it works for, sure. for weed or not. <laughs> you don't get a hangover from weed. See? Yeah. Another good reason to smoke more weed. I wonder if you take it before or after. I, I you can do you it before, can, during, I and after. I think you can okay. be mind altering. I think you <laughs> take can over, 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 okay. overdo it. Yeah. Does your husband smoke? I'm not pot? married. You're not married? Are you single? Yes. And you I don't need therapy. <laughs> Come on. So you're single and you're the most prolific artist in the world. You must be quite a catch. Absolutely. So, yes. yes. Yeah. So, what happened to David Bergeron was long gone. Yes. He, so Dan Bergeron. Dan Bergeron. Yeah. Sorry. What happened after Dan? Who came next? <laughs> you want names, numbers, phone numbers? What uh, do you want here? <laughs> well, let's we'll start off with something general like what sex were they? Oh, they were male. Male or men? They were male. Okay. Yeah. So how many have they been in the last? There's been a few. How many? When was that? How long ago was the last one? <laughs> this is like jumping through seven hoops yeah. here. TMZ. <laughs> it's only one hoop so far. There's six hoops to go, and then you're off the hook. Okay. What was the question? What happened to the last, Mr. Fry? Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> he left after ten thousand. Was he allergic to paint? Oh, no, what number? <laughs> what was number? He's still alive. Thousand. I don't know. Question, <laughs> <It's still> <laughs> what number were you up to when that guy? Oh stopped? my gosh. Uh, Twenty thousand. <laughs> uh, he made it. He made it all the way to twenty thousand. Wow! Wow! <laughs> each artist, each, each piece of art represents. Now I want an award. <laughs> that is a just a great way to look at your life, though. What number painting? Did you keep? How did you keep track of what number you're up to? I count them. So every time you did a painting from number one. No, I did it like three times. Three times a year, I'd go back and, and okay. count them up. Wow! You know? How do you know? Because I guess you have to have these little things made. To, yeah. Canvases. And I make them to order, so they're already right. sold when they're made. Wow. Are you so, serious? Yeah. So, so you're wealthy as well. I'm wealthy. No, I'm not wealthy. Um, $40 but <laughs> for 
How many are there, awesome. guys? Guys, twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand times forty Who's bucks. Good at Somebody I, I, figure that out. That's eight million. Wow. Now the IRS is going to be. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I pay my taxes. What's twenty thousand? <laughs> what's twenty thousand times forty? Eight hundred thousand. Is that almost a million dollars? There you go. Must be. And how long did it take you to paint that? Uh, it's been, oh God, I've got eight, nine years. It's been t- since so two thousand ten. So yeah. you've made over a hundred thousand dollars a year off these little tiny paintings. Not bad, huh? Beautiful <laughs> paintings. You're missing them. Yeah, but I've had twenty thousand criminal cases yeah. and I'm broke. I don't know what I that's Really? Do you I could look at these every day. You're a defense attorney, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I have to say, people have a mess or somebody in their family, but, but it's amazing. I should do that. I should keep track of these uh, cases and, and yeah. just start counting. Yeah. Yeah. We're, at, we're at one and a half records. We've been counting. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm glad you brought records up because we're going to take a listen to something oh, right now. How many studio <laughs> sessions have what? we had? Oh, <laughs> wow. That's a good question. How many records How many bands have we made? A lot How more. How many gigs yeah. have you been yeah. on it? So let's um, let's take a listen to something off. Was this the new record or the last record? This is the newest one. The new, yeah. newest. Uh, it came out in October of 2016. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Almost a year old. And it's called what? La di da. La di da. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is this the one with water on it? It is. I believe okay. water is the first song we are going okay. to be playing. Okay. Let's take a listen. To that is a great little video that you guys have made. Oh, thank water. you. Very, very cool. It's thank like you. a sort of do-it-yourself underwater. Exactly. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. With the idea of Mardi Gras costumes. Yeah. They're fish. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see people it's holding amazing. up little squids. Uh-huh. And yeah. yeah. Very uh-huh. cool. Now, there's yeah. a friend of mine named Patsy Grace that she wrote a song named La Di Da. Are we going to have any infringement copyright things? Oh, I don't think you can copyright a title like that. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Uh, you're the lawyer here. <laughs> yeah. Where, where can you see the video? Oh, on YouTube. Uh, on again, right. if you website. just search Roar Water or RoarTheDuo.com. Yeah, RoarTheDuo.com. Does that sound the really underwater loud? bubbles sound effect. That's not too loud. It's good to be. No. Okay. Noted that everyone in here is now dancing to our music. <laughs> on the table. I thought that was on the record. I thought it was down with B-52s, if that's not insulting, but I'd love to be B-52s. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, thank you. I'll be compared to an arena band any day. We quote you. Take that song home. Yeah. We call it alternative electro. Is that going down? Yeah, it's turned it down. It. Oh, that's that's better. I don't know. Is it going down on your headphones? A little bit. Is it? It sounds yeah. like it's fading out now. I can't hear it at we all. We can fade it out. Oh, she can't hear it. I can't hear it. You can't hear a thing? I can't hear it now. Are now you kidding? I can hear okay. you. You can only hear me. You can't hear the music. <laughs> can't hear the music. Oh, that is mysterious. <laughs> we you specifically can't. designed the record for <laughs> under 30. There's frequencies you can hear. And, yeah. <laughs> I thought somebody drowned. <laughs> I'm going to have to slap him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Everyone here is under 30. So That is yeah. really uh-huh. cool sound, isn't it, you guys? Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's very interesting. It's sort of poppy. Yeah, very. And sort of blondie like. Awesome. Oh. oh. And what I else would that. you say? You oh. said B fifty twos, David. Yeah. Which is nice. Kind of a I thought you know what I thought when I first saw the video, it reminded me of the Carpenters. Really? Oh, you know, hey, I oh, love the Carpenters. That's awesome. Who doesn't yeah. love the Carpenters? I yeah. love that yeah. one video they do at the barbershop. 
I don't know I, that I, one. I think I'm the Carpenters. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. bet you are. But maybe. who played the? Who was the band where he played the drums and she would she sang? There was someone else. Was oh, that, that was oh. the opposite. The Carpenters was wasn't that she played the drums? She played the drums. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're so, thinking cool. of uh, 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 Annie Lennox? Oh no. And, uh, you're thinking Dave of Annie Lennox and uh, and uh, the guy um, Dave Stewart? Yeah. What about? Mm. What about the Captain and Janiel? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. You know no, that? she doesn't tell it, but that's what I was thinking. Do you he know the thinking. Captain and Janiel, you guys? Uh-huh, I mean, hey, I put me in the water. Ah. Yeah. What was this song? But, no, I, I, what, I... What was it? Uh, I don't you know. We'll keep I us together. Love will keep us together. Oh, you're good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, excellent. You don't know the Captain and Janiel? Uh-uh. No. Oh, we have to take a listen to that. We can that's because you're under 30. We can dress that up. They were huge at one point. I don't know what What is it called? The they captain. Come. The captain. That was a guy. And Tenille. That was and a guy. Tenille. And Tenille. And her name was Tony Tony yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had a huge... What was the name of the song? Love Will Keep Us Love Together. Love Will Keep Us Together. Yeah. Oh, know. I know that song. Yeah. Very yeah. Nice. Love Will Keep Us Together. That's right. yeah. See, I'm not the singer in the band. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you do other than... Uh, uh, I play drums, drums so program yeah. You heard all those keyboards and all yeah. that. I uh, I like to cue those live, so I have a little yeah. sampler with a bunch of buttons on it, and I'll cue those as I'm playing the drum set as well. This so. is a high tech kind of a thing. So if we go to see you play, which we can do, yes, at, September 9th. One Eye Jacks at One Eye Jacks. Oh, Ooh, all right, September yes. the 9th, two thousand and seventeen. By the way, if you're listening to yes. this and you're yes. wondering, this year, yeah, and it's, yes. Sometimes people listen to these podcast a long time after we release them so oh, okay. if you listen to this after september the 9th 2017 you can yeah. go to raw the duo yeah or you can yeah. probably Dot see com. us at you know the superdome or you know yeah. one of those places yeah the normo dome yeah <laughs> okay so um who are you playing with on september the 9th it, uh, it is our our headlining show. Uh, we have okay. a band that we know from uh, Nashville, Tennessee, that we're well, bringing we out. We met them in Nashville, but they're from Chattanooga. They're oh. called Kerchief. Oh, really? Kerchief, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Great band. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nashville's the place. Man. I just yeah. came to visit oh, my really? friends. Oh, wow. Country music songs. Yeah. She's trying oh, to get nice. in the business. Oh, wow. It's such it's a great whole scene. world yeah. thing. Yeah. You gotta yeah. get the agent. You yeah. gotta get the songs. Uh-huh. Totally. You gotta get yeah. together with yep. musicians. Yeah, that's actually where we recorded our record. It was really funny. We were touring with a band there, and the sound guy loved us, and he'd just gotten off the road with Death from Above 1979, and he'd been on the road with Bonnie Ray and stuff, and he wanted to record bands, and he said, I would love to bring you guys up here. And record you, and that's yeah. our producer Tim Craven on that last record. And he produced and recorded it, had so Amazing. much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Craven, if you he listen to this, Laura Miller, <laughs> Laura Miller's my friend. Uh, oh. Look at her, yeah, maybe he, he knows her, know right? Her. Nashville's a small totally. town, you know, yeah. right? Yeah. It is, it is yeah. funny, uh, but um, you know, um, Brooks and Dunn, the guy Lonnie Dunn, oh, he's yeah. like playing in a local band, so he could be at the local wow. bar hanging out. Yeah. That's what's crazy about Nashville, just like our town. We got yeah. Kermit Ruffin, yeah, just like yes, us. and they exactly. have a sign at the Rock and Bowl. Up. Have you ever yeah. seen the sign at the Rock and Bowl that says no smoking? Uh, uh, no smoking cigarettes, uh, yeah. and then that means you, Kermit. You can't smoke anything. Else. It says that. It actually it says, says that means you, Kermit. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Only cigarettes. That's what it says. And he's That's met the president. He's met two um, presidents, Obama wow. and Bush. And wow. I think he smoked at the White House. I think. I think so. Yeah, probably. Probably with mm-hmm. Obama. Well, <laughs> no, he in no, high school, that's illegal. But, Just kidding. Well, but he said on Jay Leno when they said, "Did uh, did you uh, inhale?" and he said, "I thought that's the point." You know. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a, Are you representing like, Kermit Ruffins, by the way? Uh, no, I don't. You uh, might be uh, after Mark Samuels mm-hmm. does that pretty well with the uh, Basin okay. Street Records. Is he an attorney, Mark Samuels, as well as owning a record company? Yeah. No, Mark because Samuels is not. But so he, Kermit he, doesn't he have an attorney. He does. He has several attorneys, I'm sure. But as people say, they think I'm a funeral home director. I'm not going to need one. I bet you the current doesn't need an attorney. <laughs> I said, well, maybe you need me when you hit the lottery and you want to advise you on your money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. did Big yeah. Frida need one? I'm not sure. Big Frida sure did. <laughs> yeah. sure I didn't need one. Carly, I'm trying to think of uh, how to describe your voice. It's, oh, you know, it's thank kind of you. breathy and it's, uh-huh. there's something just really playful and yeah, just sweet totally. about it. I, oh, you thank know, you so much. I, I, I appreciate I, I, that. Very let's hear, good. Let's nice hear a bit of something yeah. else. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, sure. You can one. go to the second track if you feel like it. What's this one? Orange Peaches. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> nice, too. Okay. Mm-hmm. How do you yeah. come up with the name of a song? How is that? Does it just hit oh, you? Oh, it's or? an epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. That's totally a Michael yeah. Scott. Like eat a peach in the Almond <laughs> Brothers. Yeah, <laughs> my, son, my brother got hit by a peach truck. And I named it <laughs> Actually, yes. How did you know? Yeah. That's what this song is about. Yeah. <laughs> you got hit by an yeah. orange peach truck? Yeah. That's you playing the that song. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She'll pick it up, play, and then put it down and start singing. 
And I grew up playing mallet instruments as well, so I'm playing an electronic xylophone on this song while singing. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. You guys are amazing. (laughs) (laughs) You guys have been here how long? Uh, I've been here nine years. Did you, 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 you're familiar with the Radiators, the famous oh, yeah. band? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You've got a, a couple of songs with the xylophone. Oh, you know, yeah. Just everything. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. Now they're broken up, so I kind of find things, ways to get them back together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. They're so talented. I haven't heard a xylophone like that. It's a, mm-hmm. Nice. It's fun. Well, like a second line in there, too. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. The trombone growls. <laughs> we actually did a uh, music video where we drew chalk, like the lyrics and chalk all around the city. We went up to the fly and did some up there and down by parks by us and stuff. Yeah, yeah. super fun. It was really fun. It's hard to listen to this and not believe this is going to be gigantic. Oh, wow, that's Isn't so it? sweet. Don't you think? Thank you. I love Doesn't it. This, oh, <laughs> yeah. thank Doesn't you. Doesn't this just have like gigantic hit commercial that's what we're going yeah, for. Yeah, that's what we're going yeah. for. I always thought this song could be in like a, a coffee commercial, like orange peaches, yeah. blue velvet, <laughs> it's coffee. It's just such, morning. Yeah. It's just such feel good. Do you, oh. know, you know the guys in Royal Chief? Oh, yes. yeah. Uh, we, we actually did, did a show. show with them at Casa yeah. just up the street. Yeah. Uh-huh. They've, they've got the same kind of, uh, oh, kind yeah. of approach yeah. uh-huh. to, to music. Definitely. They? Absolutely. They've yeah. really taken off. They really yeah. have. Uh-huh. If you'll forgive me for saying so, y'all are both so cute. Oh. <laughs> I could see how people would just want to show up and look at you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah, and you should see her on stage. She just I jumps bet. around yes, every yes. Yes. Jax, what do you mean by cute? I don't know. They're, they're just so bright and shiny. Oh. That's right. That's yeah. I like and that. Good looking. You know? yeah. 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 <laughs> and do you have day jobs or can you make a living out of this? Oh, we make we a make living, a living out, out of this. This yeah. is pretty yeah. impressive that's stuff. Great. Yeah, that's oh, uh, part you. of the benefits of being a duo is that we can make a living yeah. at this. So yeah. only two of you uh-huh. to pay. Yeah, same right. amount of money as other bands. Sometimes we wonder band. how people yeah. have more us. band members. Yeah, uh-huh. Like and what, ab- what about to. management and stuff? Do you have a manager? Uh, uh, we're currently right looking for a manager. Is that right? Uh-huh. If anyone's David, you're not doing that. I, I, I don't. Actually, there's this funny story, but Jeff Chaz, if you're listening to anybody, he's a 65-year-old blues guitarist who's kind of one step away from homelessness, but he's got a great show at the Blue Nile on Monday nights, and oh, I'm nice. trying to get him promoted, but this is yeah. a tough business to be a manager. It's full yeah. time. Yeah. That's yeah. why I can't Absolutely. help him. Absolutely. Yeah. Because he needs somebody to all the time be pushing and pushing. Yeah. yeah. So you need exactly. to start interviewing some folks. So. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Are you talking to people, or... Uh, yeah, we've been talking to a bunch of people. Yeah, we yeah. have. Uh-huh, definitely. Just trying to find the right fit. You yeah. know, you want somebody that loves you right. as and much as... And we're trying to get right. one yeah. of those live, like KXP or some kind of radio station where they do live in the studio and there's a bunch of YouTube followers or a radio station where managers are listening in and looking for new bands. That's where we're really trying to focus our energy because yeah. we've heard a lot of people have luck doing it that does way. Does radio still have any impact on It does. It does. Certain at, radio stations. Uh, Revivalists. Like the NPR. Have a hit. Yeah, yeah like they're yeah. Uh, blowing up right now because of Wish I Knew You mm-hmm. on the radio. And because yeah. they're awesome, but because of that song, I they're doing extra well. And so how does it work on radio now? Do you have to because they're all these stations are owned by the same company. <laughs> yes, he's asking know, do you have to bribe crazy. people. Like, what are, what are you going to do? Yes, to get well, uh, yeah. if, if we do have to bribe people, we'd like to know the right people to bribe. <laughs> so please <laughs> call <laughs> us, RoyTheDuo.com. How much? How much? <laughs> Labels can you? help yeah. you. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm thinking. That's, yeah. There's only like one or two people to bribe now, right? Yeah, I mean, no. holy guy yeah. is programming. It's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The true. less people, the more the money goes up. Right? Less people and more bands. What's the blowjob deal on that, Dave? Can you give it? Oh, we are, we are anti nope. blow I think yeah. that's a uh, no, freedom of contract. I think that's a lot to hate freedom I, 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 don't, I don't want to say I made it because I gave the right guy a blowjob. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh, that'd be nice. You don't yeah. tell anybody that. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you they still know, know the artist. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty oh, wow. implied. Yeah. Uh, I don't think, <laughs> now, is it true, Mr. Bergeron, about Queen and, and, and his band? I, what did I hear? Uh, some band that, uh, that they, they did something in the 70s where everybody got the, the, the head guy. Or is there any truth to any No pun intended. No pun intended. 
What do you mean? There were certain bands that you could tell, is that guy doing his band or is that... Like wow. Fleetwood Mac was obviously so, so public. Yeah. They got together, they divorced, they even sang it. They even hated right. each other on the stage yeah. when they did that. Yeah. So when you guys have spats and stuff, you could create <laughs> a song out of that, you know. Exactly. Yeah, we can even yeah. pretend to make a song. <laughs> oh, right now, roar. Uh, make that. <laughs> roar. Yeah, roar. Oh. And that's, all. that's right. That's a good point. But there's only two of you. You have to get along. I guess you can't. Yeah. You can't go oh, it's bitch to very else difficult. <laughs> oh, it's so we difficult to get along. How's the tour bus? How, how's the party in? Yeah, the tour bus. <laughs> yeah it's, awesome. it's amazing. We go to our yeah. hotel and fall asleep. Yeah, we're those kind of people. I mean, we party every night. Oh, yeah. You know, totally we're crazy. Yeah. Uh huh. No, uh, not any of that. That could be a hotel commercial. You know, like instead yeah. of leave a light on, yeah. like follow roar. Yeah. The next yeah. Hotel. Uh -huh. Yeah. So follow the, us the, to the, the next uh, the Marriott. King you know, bed. or Hilton. Come on, give us those nice premium hotels, yeah. right? <laughs> so the plan of world domination begins with getting on a radio station. And you, and you came it's up with that YouTube. idea yourself, without a manager. I mean, we've just kind of done it by osmosis and seeing how other bands have made it. And like Tank and the Bangers, they got the NPR Tiny right. Desk, and it's done yeah. wonders for them, you know. So yeah. Yeah. it's just one way. There's so many paths yeah, to plus, the same place. You know, we, we've done the, uh, the touring thing with other bands, and even this band, we did heavy touring for a year and yeah. a half, two years. And wow, wow. You just kind of yeah. notice it. It doesn't take off like when you put a new music video off. You get the right PR. See, yeah. Right. yeah. And how do you get a gig like I see that you open for George Clinton? And then P oh, Funk. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, how do you get a gig yeah. like that? My That's what? a great question. Uh, we knew the booking agent at the venue, yeah. uh, and we told them we'd like to come in this time, and they said, Oh, we think you guys would be great opening for George Clinton. Really? So, yeah. I can't even imagine uh -huh. what kind of person would have thought that. Yeah. What's the connection? Uh, well, we used to be more of a funk band, ah. and I believe that is what they had hurt us with. So then they thought we might we be better with that. Surprise. And then, yeah. yeah, it was uh, a surprise. Uh, that was our old band, and now our new band is uh, very different and yes. more like the right. uh, indie rock, electronic, alternative yeah. kind of world. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Radiohead, we're, we're talking to you. Yeah. You're listening to this. Bjork. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So how do you describe yourselves when you have to sell yourself to people? What do you f describe the music we as? We say alternative um, electronic from New Orleans. Oh, that's yeah. a good, uh -huh. that's yeah. good sentence. Yeah, because yeah, okay. it kind of implies the trombone and right. his samples, but we still have live elements. It's not completely electronic. You? Emily, our amazing PR person from Bon Maroc, is texting us. Emily yeah. She wants us to her. make She's sure we greatest. mention our show. Okay. September 9th at One Eye Jack. Oh, that's right. It's because <laughs> yeah. she was yeah. Yeah. Have you heard of Davis Rogan? Davis Rogan used to be in this group called All Anyone That. Anyone who needs PR kind of should hire her. Kind of a thing in the 90s. Oh, and wow. now he does his own thing, but he had... <laughs> He would get uh, second line groups to come behind him, and then he would do a kind of thing. And do you ever use like second line people in? Uh, your we haven't. Carly has second line before. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah, yeah uh -huh. a lot. Yeah, my, yeah, the first year I lived down here, I was in a couple Mardi Gras parades, the second line, and we were in a brass band. Yeah, and uh, really? that's the really. Two of you were in a brass band. We were. Yeah. We were not not Booty just Trove. the two of us. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it was called Booty Trove. It's back yeah. in our, uh, yeah, like with when, some Loyola people. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we yeah. attended Loyola for a year. Uh, so, but did. I feel like That's I enough for music take education. that second line <laughs> trombone sound yeah. and transfer it into our music. It's very much how I love to play trombone, and it's really similar, actually, to a lot of Latin and salsa playing of trombone, and that's my favorite, just yeah. super powerful. Yeah. A lot of evolution. Out yeah. There. Yeah. yeah, It is really fun, evolution. too. We both love Galactic a lot, and uh, yeah. we know oh, them yeah. very I well. They're tell. very good I friends. Oh, and awesome. uh, Carly's gotten to sit in with Corey Henry, you know, Bo Money up there a couple times, and it is funny to watch. Bo Money, you know, a six foot black man <laughs> played trombone, and then Carly, like a little <laughs> five five. I would like, love to see yeah, that up there. Now, so the question fun. is: Are you guys ready for Jazz Fest and Quint Davis? Are you guys? Oh. It's time. Oh, I think yeah. it's time right oh, now yeah. on this podcast uh -huh. to say, Seriously. Quint, come on, hey, man. Yeah. Come check us out. Who's yeah. giving Quint a blowjob to get him to say? Adam. Adam. Yeah. All right. Me yeah, all the Boy, way. Adam. Hey, Quint. I'm real attractive. David, can, can you make a call for him? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> until I get a full-time manager, we need you to call Jazz yeah. Fest and get that hooked up, right? Yeah. I would love to see local it's only people a get more in a Jazz Fest <laughs> yeah. exactly. instead of a corporate bit. I would yeah. love to see you guys do that. Yeah, we did just get really to play cool. a Buku Fest, though, which is oh, really yeah, fun. Yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Was. That was yeah. really fun. So, Jax, who are you taking to the gig on September 9th? <laughs> oh, dear. I'll see Her dance paintings. Free. All 20,000 <laughs> of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. every painting. So, you, have you sold these to 20,000 different people? No, no. A lot of stores, a lot of galleries will pick up 
a whole bunch at a time. But 20,000 mm -hmm. people have bought these. I mean, unless the same person has bought three or four. They have. Principally. Yeah, they make collections out of them. You know? yeah. Do they? Yeah, they, so they kind of tell a story. You know, you've got a New Orleans base I here. I went to or, Dogs. There you go. And then yeah. I went to and the crawfish. Ada Crawfish. Yeah, or I, I, got I got married at the cathedral, the blah, blah, blah. So this know? crawfish yeah. one is actually multimedia. It's got yeah, I, I yeah. sculpt them out with palette knives first. Wow. Oh, that's why they got a lot What's of texture in them. Ah, that's it's awesome. It's a knife for oh, painting. Oh, wow, that crawfish yeah. one is awesome. Oh, cool. Yeah, the crawfish one is palette knife. Did you used to use an oyster shucker back in the day before you had the palette knife? tried it. Not a bad idea. So, <laughs> can you find, is there any way to find these 20,000 people? Not that I know of. It would take. <laughs> Grayson is available, actually, for the rest of the week. Go for it, man. He's always just pulling my contacts <laughs> hooked up. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, did you, how did you do with that, with Dan Bergeron? Dan Bergeron. And I don't know how to spell Bergeron. Did you graduate from well <laughs> Seriously? Too you late. did. Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh, my God. $60,000 a year and you can't spell Bergeron. I can't spell Bergeron either. Yeah. You, you know, if, if Bergeron you was, if it was a no. uh, band name in today's day and age, it would be like B-R-G-R-N. You know, so they just abbreviate like it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Like, what is that band? Texting. Dance? Like D-N-C-E and all those Management. bands. Management. Yeah. Uh -huh. M-G-M-T. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. That's the thing, the trend. Uh -huh. And so I know, there's another Bergeron has no vowels. Yeah. And there's, have you heard of a band called Phony People? No. Uh -huh. That's PPL. Oh. Phony PPL. That's really Phony good. PPL. That's worth hearing too. Actually. Oh man. Huh. Our band is only spelled R O A R. We were like, should we abbreviate it? Like, ah. You really oh. can't. Yeah. How about, how about <laughs> OMG? O M G G O P W T F. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I bet I like that's that. Saken. <laughs> you Google it, it's Saken. I saw already. it on the highway. That's where I came up with it. <laughs> I started a, an adventurer's club called W T F. It's oh. what the fun. Yeah. fun. Really? Nice. What the fun. I love it. My kid says, shut the front door. That's his new thing. Shut yeah. the front door. <laughs> hey, it's How better than he? the alternative. Yeah. 11. 11. Oh, Jax, what do you mean you started a club? Oh, a little group. Yeah, local women. I want to be part. Oh, it's just women. Well, I don't know. Okay. It just is. <laughs> it just worked out that way. What do, you, what do you do? I don't know. Every month, somebody uh, it's a surprise, and um, somebody's in charge, and we show up wherever they tell us and wear what they tell us to that wear. That sounds like this podcast. And bring like <laughs> does, doesn't it? Similar principle. We're here at Wayfair with half-price drinks and yes. half-price starters and bar fare. <laughs> Three hours every day. Three, Three, hours, Three to six. six. <laughs> 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 so what? Are, what are the? What, how many girls are in the adventure? There's eight of us. Eight. Yeah. All uh -huh. right. Yeah, it's a good group. We just we. Nice. Let's see. That's this not is our really third a month. Club. That's a bunch of friends. Yeah, it's a group. <laughs> and is there another one? Somebody thought I read something about this in my extensive research here, but now. Yeah. I had a whole There's a few. <laughs> what? what are, did you start some other club? Or something? Yeah, I started uh, uh, Women of Infinite Possibilities. That's, what um, it awesome. that's great. That's yeah, cool. there's there's a. It's been going on about six years now, something like that, and it's just a group that uh, meets once a month, and they have speakers, and and it's just sort of empowering women. And, people don't uh, meet enough regular. I'm a union organizer, former, and I, people don't get together enough uh, you know they get together yeah. to do singing they, you know they, people need to do that more i agree just, that's a problem in america Absolutely. they don't get together with their friends they don't get together don't go to churches or whatever but that's yeah. a great thing yeah i just read an more interesting community. book about that it's called touch it was but it was it was fiction but it was fascinating and it was just about um you know how people are always on their phone blah 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 and, mm -hmm. and they're that's shutting awesome. down and yeah. so it was more like trend predictions of what's going to happen oh, wow. and maybe like in japan little uh, things will show up where you can uh, pay somebody to hug you or Aww. yeah hug so I just I thought that it. was I love that book it was I great that's a good oh, idea because cool. uh, all these idiots with the free hugs <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, they could be you could get a dollar on this exactly <laughs> <laughs> so, missed yeah, you, opportunity yeah. are you a free hug guy David I know the uh, person who's very involved in it and I like, love the fact that he's doing that he's very I funny. find that very creepy I, I always wondered has, <laughs> have you ever gotten one of those but you're like oh, I kind of don't want to free hug that person no they all I, everyone I, who I, wears I that really free hug thing is like a person you don't want to hug in my opinion it's kind of a cheap hug <laughs> <laughs> be like that, you know? But how much are they charging in Japan for hugging? No, it's not there yet. 
It's fiction. <laughs> Not there you yet. You guys should go to Japan. That's a oh, really good love idea. To. We'd love to go to Japan. Uh, managers out yeah. there? Yeah. Yes. Booking Don't agents? Don't they have promoters? hedgehog cafes yes. where you can hold hedgehogs <laughs> while you get coffee and I stuff? I don't know how much of this crap online is true, but <laughs> I, I saw that too. But it's I all it's there. online. It's got to be true. It's got to be true. true. All right. Yeah. Talking of online, it's time for us to get offline. Oh, already? We better get out of here. It's been a whole hour. We Thank didn't, you get, we didn't get on to union organizing. That was a good subject we just Stay got to. Stay tuned. It's another right. hour. Maybe we should all meet back here in another what? Let's do it. How many minutes? Drinking. Drinking. I'm good. <laughs> Three drinks. <laughs> Three drinks till yeah. six. Yeah. Have a part many, two. What, seriously, Jack, just for a minute. What number painting are you up to? Because we could get, make it again when you're up to. Well, I don't know. Maybe 2,200. 2,200. So what number? Oh, no, I'm sorry. 20,200. Thank you. 20,200. <laughs> so what should we meet back here when you get up to what number, do you think? <laughs> How, how many do you do in a month? Fifth, well, time, 200. 200. Some of you guys are going to order 1,000 just by listening to the show. I know. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> Next week. So I'm, I'm, I'm completely lost. How many do we – suppose you have to do another 1,000. How about thousand. Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> how long does it take to do 1,000? If we got up to 20 – 23. English major, 000. no math major here. No, I'm pretty <laughs> sure, man. No pressure. Yeah. 20, well, let me know when you get to, well, let Graham DuPonte, our producer, know when you get to 22,000. Okay. And that'll give us 1,000 to get it together. Okay. And then we'll plan to be to get, get together 23,000. What do you say, you guys? I say. Yeah. I say we have 23,000. What will your next song be ready for? Oh. 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 We'll new Hopefully one. it'll be ready soon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We've been working on new music, so. Yeah. And is yeah. That, that's coming out soon? Peak, peak. Yeah. I will definitely play then, some at September 9th. September 2017, 2017 at One Eye Jacks. Until then, we can steal it off of Spotify and all the usual places, and it's on Absolutely. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. And the name of the band is Raw, R O A R. Yeah. And Roar it's Raw the, the Duo. Dot com. Yes. Very good. Thank you v- very much, Carly Myers and Adam Gertner. Thank you. From Raw the Duo, Jacks Fry, the most prolific painter yes. in the entire world, yes. is Thank sitting you. right here Absolutely. at our table. And that was David fun. And Capasso, awesome. who's the expert on blowjobs and weed. <laughs> so, the most entertaining. <laughs> it's been it's been quite a uh, quite a wide ranging conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. That's been Happy Hour for another week. The producer of our show is Graham DuPonte. Our associate producers are Alison Moon and April Stolf. Christian Unreal is our music director, and Jean Valois is our music producer. Thomas Walsh is our technical director, and our show is engineered today by the fabulous Nathan Place. Our live feed directors are Asher Griffith and Grayson Jernigan, who cannot spell Bergeron. <laughs> our theme music was written by and is currently being played by Mitch Foreman. If you'd like to be on our show, and you can stay upright for about an hour while drinking free alcohol, drop us a line. Our address is on our website, it's neworleans.com. We can also check out lots of other shows we make, including hundreds of other hours of happy hour. Out to lunch with Peter Raschuti. It's live from Commander's Palace. True to the game with Chris True. Midnight menu plus one with Margot Moss and the man who ate New Orleans, Ray Kamata. Ray Kamata. Louisiana Eats with Poppy Tucker and the podcast about death, Death the Podcast. You can also find other great Louisiana podcasts at itsacadiana.com and itsbatonrouge.la. You can keep up with us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and also a bunch of other times such as social media. On all of it, we're called It's New Orleans. You can find photos from this show on itsneworleans.com and on our Facebook page. These photos are usually taken by Alison Moon. But she's totally sick as hell today with a bad back. So Hope has taken <laughs> our photos. Thank you, Hope. If you're listening to this uh, show on your favorite podcast app, thank you for subscribing to us. If you've got a moment, take it to rate it and review us. That helps other people find us. Our show is recorded live today at Wayfair on Ferret Street in Uptown New Orleans, where they have, David, a three-hour happy hour here every day from 3 to 6 and a great brunch on the weekends. Happy Hour is a production of INO Broadcasting for itsneworleans.com. For Andrew Duhon, who will be back here next week. Everybody else around the table here at Wayfair and back at our office at INO Broadcasting. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Grant Morris. I'll see you back here next week for Thank more you, Happy Thank Hour. You. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, remember that show, um, uh, that people, when you watch Bob Newhart, and they said, hi, Bob. You show up on some